On the line now in Perth, Australia, is Jeff Grisinich. Hello, Jeff. Hello, mate. How are you? Very well, thank you. How are you? Yeah, very, very well. A bit cold here at the moment, but uh, no, looking forward to summer. Well, it's a bit cold and wet over here. We're still looking forward to summer as well. It hasn't arrived. Now, uh, now, Jeff, you've just published a book called Machine Guns and Cricket Bats, sort of part autobiography, part behind-the-scenes look at international cricket. Could you just sort of give us a bit of an overview? OK, well, basically, Machine Guns and Cricket Bats is about the last 10 years I've been playing cricket for Croatia in Europe, and it basically just sort of outlines... Um, you know, the things we sort of got up to, the places we've played, um, some tour information, obviously travelling around and obviously a little bit about European cricket and how that sort of all um, come about and obviously the changes in the game over the last 10 years from my, uh, my involvement there. And uh, it's got a, a foreword from Simon Katic and Darren Maddy. You must be quite pleased with that, to have that sort of kudos attached to it. Yeah, look, it's fantastic. Both of those guys have, um, have been friends of mine for, for quite a while. And obviously, Simon, the, the great thing about having Simon on board as well, in particular, was um, he's a Croatian background as well. So although, obviously, he's played for Australia and uh, you know, has had a fantastic record, both obviously in, in Australia domestically, in England domestically, and obviously as a, you know, as a test player. So he's been fantastic to sort of have him on board. And you know, there's a little bit of that heritage sort of thing in there as well. You know, he's, he's, he's got a Croatian heritage as well. So look, Simon was fantastic in, in his help. And of course, Darren Maddy, well, Darren's one of my best mates. He uh, basically played here at a club called Perth, which uh, I also uh, play at. And uh, yeah, look, he was here for probably two or three years. And over that time, we became pretty good friends and certainly wanted to get sort of Darren on board because look, what a fantastic player he's been mm. for, for Leicester and obviously now with Warwickshire. And, you know, he's, he's had a bit of international cricket behind him as well and just a fantastic fellow really really happy to actually have both of those guys on board it's been it's, it's fantastic and uh, what was your real sort of motivation for sort of getting it all together and, and writing this book well the motivation basically was sort of I just found myself in all these really intriguing sort of places playing cricket and obviously you know being uh, you know both my parents were born in Croatia and, uh, you know, I sort of found myself, you know, it's quite funny playing cricket for Croatia. I didn't know too much about the existence of the international side of things in Croatia. I knew they sort of played and, and a little bit of that. But, I mean, yeah, so basically I found myself in some weird and wonderful places, um, travelling Europe, uh, rediscovering my heritage. Um, and I just thought this is too good to be true. So basically started documenting some of the, you know, some of the tours that we went on and, some of the places we, we, we saw and, you know, a bit, a bit about the games, a little bit about family, a little bit about the travelling you sort of do and the camaraderie and, and all the banter that sort of happens amongst cricketers. And, look, it's just, yeah, I just sort of found myself in the, in the middle of this amazing, what I thought was a pretty amazing sort of story and set of circumstances. And, and uh, the more I sort of started documenting it, uh, it sort of took shape into a book and, and uh, with obviously the, the encouragement from, you know, blokes like Simon and Darren and, you know, friends and family, they all sort of thought it was too good a story to let go. And being a bit of a writer myself, I sort of thought, you know what, I'll put all this together in a book and we'll see how we go. And it's a story that's sort of been in the making for, for quite a few years, hasn't it? Yeah, look, basically from, the, from the, about a 10-year period I've been involved in international cricket with, obviously in Europe for Croatia and and. You know, obviously finding out about, you know, that they do play international cricket over there and, and, and actually how big it is and how, uh, how much the game is actually growing through the ICC in Europe. I just was staggered about, you know, the existence of the game to, to the level that it was. I mean, I wasn't quite sure what I was getting myself involved with at the start. And uh, it turned out to just be my, my first tour we played in Vienna. And it was just, what I mean, what an experience. It was just a great place to go and play cricket. Great bunch of guys I was involved with. I so obviously did my ICC sort of um, bits and pieces to sort of get qualified. Had to become a dual citizen, which wasn't a problem at all. And uh, then just basically did some, some time in Croatia to sort of get the, the, um, the days up to be able to play. And, yeah, look, I just, I just thought it was fantastic sort of to get involved in... And just to sort of see the level that the cricket was developing in Europe. And look, I, I really love the game and I just really s sort of thought, well, you know, 10 years in the making and, and here we are today with a, with a book all about those experiences. And uh, you're still playing for Croatia, I understand? Yeah, yeah. The next uh, tournament's actually in, in early September. We go to Corfu, of all places, which is fantastic, particularly <laughs> now. It's very, very cold over here. And um, 
I just actually come back from a bit of a run. So I'm uh, looking forward to um, some nice warmth in, in Europe and obviously I'll go back to Croatia and spend some time there with the family and catch up with all the, the, the guys over there. But, yeah, the next tournament's in uh, Corfu and, uh, yeah, that's just going to be fantastic. Can't wait. And uh, do you think there will be any, any further books sort of documenting the rise and rise of Croatian cricket in, in the pipeline? Well, yeah, look, I, uh, I'd like to think so, but, I mean, this has just taken so much out of me writing mm. this book. It's basically sort of taken me the best part of three years to sort of put it all together into book form and take all, you know, the bits and pieces from the different um, the travels and tour, tours and, and all of those sorts of things to sort of to put it together. And, you know, um, <clears throat> obviously not a paid cricketer, so I don't do that for a living and I actually work on the side. So, um, yeah, it's been a, it's been a massive um, task to do, but look, it's, it's been a labour of love because obviously, A, I love writing and I love cricket and, you know, sort of combining the two has been fantastic. So, look, I'd like to think that there's a, another book in here, but, I mean, there's so many things that I would have loved to have added in this book, but, I mean, you know, I just the book would have just went on forever. So, look, there's hopefully another one in the, in the, in the planning, but we'll see how this, this one goes and if it gets a bit of success and, and people want more, then, you know what, that's probably what I'll do. I'll probably write another book. Well, I, I've certainly really enjoyed reading it and I'd advise everybody to go out and get hold of it. How can we actually get, get out there and get hold of a copy? Well, basically the best way to sort of do it is you can pop onto um, Amazon and, uh, you know, plug the machine guns and cricket bats into there or put in, in my name, obviously, Jeff Brzezinic. Or you can also go to Barnes & Noble um, and, again, do the same sort of thing. And, obviously, you could just plug my name into Google as well and see where that takes you. And, hopefully, um, the Amazon and the Barnes & Noble are obviously uh, two, two places where you can uh, definitely get the book. And, of course, if you want a, want a signed copy, you can get onto Cricket World because we've got three copies to give away as well, which is so we're very, very, uh, very appreciative of you giving us those, Jeff. No problems at all, mate. Looking forward to it.